Like a lot of the things that we talk about here on this channel, I cannot believe what we're covering today is real. On YouTube, you really have a wide range when it comes to content quality. And once you get over to the prank category, that's when you know you're really starting to scrape the bottom of the barrel for when it comes to quality content. And even for prank channels, I mean, this is like a new level of bad. Or well, yeah, no, it's still worse than Van Banter. And if you don't remember who that is, that's the guy who bought a PlayStation 5 for like five times the cost of it new from a third party seller, just so he could smash it in front of a bunch of people who wanted it for some attention. That's who we're talking about here. Let me see this B. Oh my God. But that's Oscar worthy content compared to the YouTuber we're going to be taking a look at today by the name of Prince Z. And Prince Z has quite the variety on his channel when it comes to YouTube content. As you see, he has videos like this, beating my son in public. I made $7 breakdancing in Times Square. What sperm looks like under a microscope, slapping my girlfriend's butt in public, beating a baby in public, beating a homeless beggar on New York City subway. <laughs> Average father figure. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, just normal <laughs> YouTube content. And then he sprinkles in some regular tutorials to switch things up, I guess, like uh, how to change a flat tire and how to unclog your bathtub drain. Because there's nothing like learning how to change a flat tire from the guy who made the video beating my son in public. But hey, it's each their own. But shout out to the YouTuber Jamari because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have found this video. But this video we're gonna take a look at now is just a next level of stupidity. Let me just put a quick disclaimer here. You and I will both lose brain cells from watching this content, but we've gotten so far, so you might as well. All right, and I think we're gonna go, man. Let's, uh, should I take an hour later? Oh, I can hold it. I think I'm good. All right, so you're gonna go set up over there. Sam, set up over there. Give me a call. What happens? Yep. And uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll play by ear everything. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Oh my God, guys. So this is the moment of truth right now. Make sure you subscribe. And, uh, oh, I'm super excited. The stupidity of this video is just baffling. Essentially, he's going to play to see how the first responders react. I can't really think of too many dumber things to do. Steve New York really gives a shit. Here. Make sure that's recording. Lock the door. Let's go. Two cops, there's like three cops in front of me right now. Let's get it! It's like an adrenaline rush. It's like boom, 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 boom. Dude is having an adrenaline rush because he's about to do something really stupid for attention. Really, is this what pranks have came to? Pretending to pass out at your steering wheel like you're an NPC from GTA 4? May I ask, what's the point of this prank? Is it just to like scare first responders and annoy traffic? Like, how is this real? I'm surprised some people just suck this much. <laughs> He's really just still going. Are you for real? They busted into his car and he's still faking it. Bro, they think you're dying. What a literal waste of space. Holy sh- <laughs> He's still faking this. All for some clicks on YouTube. I would probably say this beats the Stokes twins' bank robbery prank when it comes to awful pranks. Anyway, so what happens from here is they drag him out of the car, they move his car, then a fire truck shows up. So essentially what he's achieved here is wasted everyone's time because he wants to be the funny man on YouTube and he does it in the worst way possible. Honestly, I'm happy they at least smashed his windows because they deserve that. Yo, you're a hero, man. You're a hero. I want my props. It's for you. So we have this dude who first ran up to the car thinking he's a hero. Then you have the prankster probably regretting that he decided to hold in that. I think we're gonna go, man. Let's uh, try to take an hour later. 
I can hold it. I think I'm good. And if I had to go, I don't know if I would be able to hold that in as a squad of police officers bust down your windows and yank you out of your vehicle. But after making sure he was okay, it just seems like they let him go until he posted this video showing us the footage that we just watched. Yeah, he just posted that, which means this man, he recorded all of this. He went home. He watched the footage. He edited it together to the video that we just watched. And he was like, yeah, this is a good video to post. This will totally not incriminate me in any way. And he posted it to YouTube. I mean, it's narcissism and Darwinism at the same time because the dude got arrested right after he posted this. Here's a quick clip of the news story on this. This is the YouTube video that infuriated NYPD Commissioner Dermot Shea. Police say it shows YouTube prankster Zeeshan Soroya faking a loss of consciousness behind the wheel right in the middle of Times Square. First responders urgently dragged him to safety, not knowing this was all a setup. Soroya allegedly faked it, apparently just to see how fast police would respond. Shout out to all the NYPD, the ambulance for taking action. I think that's the most important thing for this video. You guys will probably hate me after this video. We believe in good karma. I'm trying to understand the logic behind this video. Hey, let's shut down Times Square and waste a bunch of time and resources to see how the first responders will react quickly to an emergency. Because we know faking an emergency is illegal. You can't monetize illegal activity on YouTube. It's just an all around L, like no matter how you look at it. Actually, YouTube straight up just took down this video. So I'm assuming he got a criminal record and he probably got a strike on his YouTube channel. There is no win for him in this. There is no win for him at all here. The New York PD commissioner tweeted out this in response. The YouTuber who faked the medical emergency in Times Square in New York City to gain followers also gained a criminal record. As of now, he's been arrested and charged with a dangerous stunt that took New York City first responders away from other New Yorkers in actual distress. So hey, today we saw what both narcissism and Darwinism looks like. It's the remix. <laughs> <laughs> but what are the comments of this re-upload saying? The second I saw the cops beating on the window, I said, he better not tell them this is a prank. Honestly, thank goodness he didn't pull a Sam Pepper and start screaming, it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> the moment when it's too late to say it's a prank. As a firefighter slash EMT, this is a blatant abuse of the emergency system. Consider how many resources were dedicated to this call. I just hope there wasn't another sick or injured person or persons that would deprived of care. At the same time, this individual thought it would be a funny prank. Anything though for a like and subscription, right? That's like the sad part of the social media age because some people are just like, any attention is good attention, and it's depressing to see. Props to the bystanders and the police officers, they acted fast for sure of their actions. I'd be proud to live in New York City just because of this police force. The one guy getting the attention of the police officers also played a role in this. If this guy would have had a real issue, he would have gotten proper aid fast. Still, he's an idiot. Couldn't agree more. If there's a takeaway from today's video, don't do that. Just don't do anything like that, and you'll probably be pretty successful in life. But other than that, drop a like on the video if you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. It'd be awesome if you subscribed. If you came back, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.